So hi, nice to meet everyone. My name is MK Badaski. I'm co-founder and head of marketing for Gen City Labs. We're a firm that's developing some community engagement software, as well as working with Web2 brands in the Fortune 500 groups as they develop marketing campaigns, both in real life and digitally. We are uh, the parent brand for non-fungible heroes NFT. So throughout this, I'll probably reference our community and that's usually what I'm referring to. We kind of treat them as our testing ground. They're a great, playful, enthusiastic community that we love to innovate with. Um, about me, before joining Web3, I was at Gartner and that was a great perspective for learning about executive and professional communities. And before that, I was with Reed Pop, which is the company that puts on New York Comic Con here, Star Wars Celebration, PAX Gaming Conferences, and that taught me the world about community. It taught me that when everyone is under one roof, people find their people. And the part of Web3 that's been the most magical to me is that we've been able to harness that same energy digitally. Our CEO over there, Mike, started telling me to get into Web3 and start exploring. And he told me the energy was really great. And I was like, there's no way. It's like, you know, Monday morning at Comic-Con, you know, that energy, there's no way. And I got into the Discord and it was. Um, so when I come to events like this, I like to learn really tactical, actionable things that I can put into action right away. So that's my approach to this. I'm gonna go through five big ideas that I have and give really specific examples within each. So hopefully it inspires you to bring back to your communities. So first off, you have to equip your community to be your evangelists. If they don't know what to say about you when you're not in the room, they're gonna be stuck. You have to make it easy for them. So I like to think of that as a toolkit. Starting first with copy, the words to use to describe you. These reach from your social profiles, your website, your FAQs, your Discord channels, making sure that there's language there that's really accessible, jargon-free, copy and pasteable for people to talk about your brand. I found that I had a lot of different messages in a lot of different places and it wasn't always consistent. Now with tools like ChatGPT, I should be harnessing all the language I've used to talk about our brand and find ways to make short and longer format content that describes us in the way I want people to be talking about us. Um, one of the other ways that we've found works well is using Discord, putting commands to summon text that we want. So exclamation point welcome summons a welcome message so that everyone arriving in the community gets the same intro statement of who we are and what we're doing there. Building on that comes imagery, and I include video in this, creating infographics, teasers, GIFs, content that is truly socially shareable. It kind of goes without saying, but I like to take that one step farther and look at customization. So for customization, I love thinking about templates, new backgrounds, Twitter headers, things that people are gonna take and modify and bring into their own brand. So if creating imagery and providing videos is the portal to creating some user-generated content, this is about having them truly take on the identity of the brand. They can mirror you through their personal channels if you equip them to. And last, play. Things like quizzes, scavenger hunts, coloring pages. We tend to create a web page in all of our sites called goodies or something like that. And all of that is inherently socially shareable, especially quizzes. You feel like you learned something about yourself and where you fit in the community. So we really like to include those in any brand that we create as a way for the community to talk about us. So next up is fostering that sense of ownership and belonging. And so this is where the marketer meets the community manager. It's, it's not one person's job or the other. Um, but from that really traditional B2B world, if I was doing marketing in the top of the funnel, when I pass it off to the community manager, that's either onboarding or customer success, retention, all of those things are on the community manager. So I wanna make sure that what I'm doing from a marketing perspective makes people arrive in the community and think, I have found my people. That feeling when you walk into a party and you know no one, but you still feel comfortable anyway and you find your way, that's what the community manager is doing. And so as a marketer, some of the tools for that are naming your tribe, giving them an identity as a name of a group, giving them a communal hashtag, really encouraging them to follow each other and create a tighter network together. That's part of the software we're creating is incentivizing and connecting those communities to each other. Um, 
and yeah, just really looking through that lens of hospitality and welcome. So then we start to get into virtual and special events and activities, and this is where I thrive. I feel like I get to be the most creative. It's the most open-ended category. I think we're seeing a lot of great brands do amazing work here with live events and in-person events, but you can't do that every day. It's not every day that the whole NFT community is here in New York with you. So thinking about digital events is low-hanging fruit for a community. I mean, I'd say at the bottom of this list is a poker tournament. We've probably all seen NFT communities running them. It's super easy, very little planning. But there's so much more, um, and we're seeing new bots and things come into the discords every day, and you can build up events around it. And what it is is a matter of building up, building anticipation. The rule of thumb I like to use with it is, would I tell an IRL friend about this? So, for instance, for a poker tournament, I brought my dad in. It was worth talking about with him that there was something cool happening online. For Super Bowl Sunday, we did a halftime event, giveaways and things like that. I thought it was cool enough, I brought my fiance along for it. It was worth talking about and special enough. And it's a really great entry point for anyone coming into the community to come in at a time of a special event. Uh, one little favorite one that I'll tell you because it's coming up soon, uh, Star Wars Day, May the 4th. Awesome, awesome day to celebrate with your community. One of the things we did, we brought in a chat bot into the Discord and named it Darth Vader. So everyone was having conversations with Darth Vader. It was very screenshotable. It was silly. He was uh, super, uh... oh, I'm over. Weird. Okay, anyway, so, uh, sorry, I really geek out on this stuff. Uh, so then we have to let go of the reins, this is the really hard part, but letting the community develop organically and making sure that your marketing mirrors the organic community as it's forming. You can't market the wrong product, and this product is a living, breathing thing. And last but not least, reward and express gratitude, showing gratitude for those who are participating. This should be done by everyone on the team, and keep it going, always. And that's me. Thanks, everyone. So sorry.